So a hello to all of my friends and my favorite strangers. This is an exciting day for me. I get to show you my knee braces. And this is not to be minimized. I have literally waited a year to get these braces. So if, if you're listening to this on my podcast, wander over to the YouTube channel because I have to show you these. I really do. So these are, these are KFOs. These are knee, ankle, foot orthosis. And this is what they look like. It's my leg holding it up. <laughs> but yeah, they've got uh, carbon, they're made out of carbon fiber and uh, carbon fiber, steel, and uh, Velcro straps. <laughs> Don't forget the Velcro straps. <laughs> so this has been a fun thing. I picked these up from Hanger Clinic, and that has just, it's been amazing to be on my feet. I, I not only use my cane, but I also, just a second. I got a set of these uh, hiking poles and yeah, I got a set of them, but the one is on the ground. So, you know, it is what it is. But the set of these hiking poles so that I can have bilateral um, uh, support and it really helps me to get my back straight. Whereas when I was using a rollator or a walker, I wasn't really having a successful time keeping my back straight at all. Uh, <laughs> so one of the other wonderful spots of, now I'm not going to say this was self uh, uh, advocacy whatsoever. This was definitely my caregiver stepped up. My caregiver, uh, Harper, who is my daytime caregiver, she really stepped up and started doing a lot of phone calls to New Motion because... Uh, uh, if you can, if you're on my YouTube channel, you can see I'm holding up a cushion that's a little flat. This is supposed to be rigid when when it's uh, pumped up. It's rigid. This is a Rojo cushion that has an air pump. There's this little thing there that says Rojo, and there's this um, place where it can be pumped up. Well, here's a funny thing. Well, are not so funny if you're disabled. Oof. This is a Rojo pump. It has a rubber end here that you put over, you, you open the valve here, twist it to open, which is difficult. And if you have trouble with, your, with any uh, fine motor dexterity, you're going to have a lot of trouble opening this valve here. And then you have to put this pump... You fit it onto the valve like that. And then this section you pull in and out and it, it's supposed to pump on both the, it's supposed to add air. The, the part of the design that's supposed to be <laughs> accessible, if you can even say that, is that it's supposed to add air to the cushion on both the intake and the outflow. I mean, it, it's literally supposed to add air both ways. But here's an issue. If you can see this, this is a this is this very small part of this handle that doesn't get absolutely smashed in there. So you're going to have a pinch point here. This is a very tight pinch point. And so every time that you're going up and down, in and out, you're risking pinching yourself right here, like that. So you have to hold just on the very edge of this, which is not easy. And it's just like just these few back and forth strokes. My arm is hurting. And it's still flat. So this has to be done hundreds and hundreds of times to go from flat to not flat. And we can't find the leak in this particular cushion. So Harper called New Motion, who is my DME, my uh, durable medical 
equipment provider. So I'm going to let Timothy, uh, Timothy is my caregiver that works in the evenings and on Mondays, and I'm going to let him pump that up the rest of the way, because it's, it's like four or five times a day that that thing gets completely flat. Those are cool. The Rojo is not cool. New Motion is totally not cool right now. Um, they're supposed to be delivering a new Rojo cushion next week. We'll see how that actually happens. Um, but this week, uh, I made egg rolls again. And I have my sweet and sour sauce here for you with the recipe. So I am sharing that. This, is, this has alcohol in it. It has marionberry cider, which you can substitute either apple juice or water or just regular non-hard cider, whatever. Um, but yeah, here's the recipe. <laughs> Hold on one half cup blackberry cider or apple juice. One tablespoon ginger juice. One quarter cup rice vinegar. One third cup brown sugar. Three tablespoons of boysun berry jam and two tablespoons of liquid aminos in a small saucepan over medium high heat. Bring to a boil. Meanwhile, combine two tablespoons arrowroot powder and two tablespoons water in a small bowl. Mix well. When sauce comes to a boil, stir an arrowroot slowly and stir constantly until sauce is thickened. Remove from heat. Sauce will thicken more as it cools. Store in refrigerator for up to a month and use to dip your favorites in. <laughs> it is so good. It is really good. And yeah, we made egg rolls again. And this time I like doubled or tripled the batch and I haven't actually cooked up all of the egg rolls because it's a lot. But it's so great to be able to go down to the farmer's market and to get whatever is in season produce wise chop it up and if like the sweet onions we sauteed those and brought out a lot of the sweetness and also did that with the cabbage because my gut is is happier with uh, cabbage that's cooked than it is raw uh, but the carrots we just shredded those raw the uh, Jerusalem artichokes or sun chokes we just uh peeled and cut those up raw and I also added some pea and cabbage sprouts which were also raw and mixed into the mixture that had a uh, teriyaki um, sauce uh, cooked spare pork spare ribs and some chicken thighs so some meat with some decent flavor that was cooked overnight in some teriyaki sauce all of that added with a good amount of garlic, I mean a healthy amount of garlic, and a decent amount of ginger, because I love my garlic and ginger combination, and a tad of um, dry mustard, as well as some uh, liquid aminos. And just drained it and mixed it in the food processor for a little bit, because you had a lot of different textures in there, and it still has a lot of different textures in there and you stuff it into the egg roll wrappers and you just fry those. And what I do is I fry them partially and most of the way, but I don't get them all the way brown. And then I freeze them to, to a baggie. And then when I take them out of the freezer, then I put them into an air fryer. Well, they've still got the oil on them from being, from being fried. So they actually drain off a good amount of that oil when it's being air fried. And it finishes crisping up and browning up. And oh, they are so good dipped in <laughs> blackberry sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> so those are my recipes for this week. And yeah, egg rolls have been made a, a definite safe food because you get all of those wonderful nutritional things in there. And I, I don't taste all of those tastes but yet I do and it's all in this crispy package that you dip in the blackberry sweet and sour and it's oh so nummy <laughs> it was oh so nummy <laughs> uh, but that's the recipe for this week 
also, I want to ask you, my followers, you're out here following me. I've asked on, out on TikTok, but I also want to ask those who follow me here on my podcast and on my YouTube show, on my blog, if you will. <laughs> what do you think I should do with my hair? Here are some ideas. I had a platinum pixie a while back. <laughs> back in, in 2019. And I love the Platinum Pixie. I love how my hair has this little cowlick here. And you can see I haven't been dyeing it very religiously. And that's because when I cut it off, and I'm going to do this right around the spring equinox. I love spring. It is my favorite season. And this year, I'm coming out. <laughs> I am no longer a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I am no longer feeling compelled to be modest in my expressions of myself. So I am cutting my hair off, um, but back to the pixie, but this time maybe not so platinum. And instead of having a number two um, clipper on the edge, or, uh, so it's a, a bi-level, I'm going to have uh, the the sides um, shaved most of the way shaved and I want that I want that part of my hair to be one color and I want the top to be a different color so I'm asking you to tell me what color should it be we've got a, we've got several weeks to till uh, the spring equinox so talk to me C tell me in the comments comment below <laughs> if you're on if you're on YouTube, comment below. If you are listening to this on a podcast, send me a message. <laughs> send me a message at Maggie.slight at gmail.com. That's my email. M-A-G-G-I-E dot s-l-i-g-h-t-e at gmail.com talk to me what color should it be i am anxious to hear what you think i am anxious to hear any of your comments and i am excited about it being spring soon so you have an excellent week whatever you do do it with joy Love and light. I love you. From Maggie's light. Peace out.